This is the TrackMate slot car lap counter that you can download from trackmateracing.com and uh, I'm just going to talk about uh, the features in the software. So the first thing you want to do after you download it and you got your hardware installed is go to settings, installation settings and click auto set COM port. Uh, here it says no COM ports found because I don't have it plugged it plugged in but uh, for this demo I will just run it in demo mode by checking this box here and I'll be able to run it in demo mode. Uh, the other thing you want to change is the sensor type so it supports infrared read switches or dead strip. Most of you are going to be running infrared sensors with the uh, overhead bridge for the light source and the relay. Uh, I recommend, or the relay that we shipped, the wiring diagram that we show, you would use normally close contacts. Now, if you have power on when it should be off, or it's off when it should be on, you just simply change this here. So I'll leave it at normally close contacts. Uh, for the track, you can change the lane colors because some of you have the uh, lanes color coded, so you can change them here. You can put the, you type in the name of your track over here. And now we're going to talk about uh, race formats. So notice here we're in practice, but we can change that by clicking on race format. And we have uh, practice with a round robin that allows you to practice on one lane, then you're forced to switch over to the next lane so people don't hog the same lane during practice. Lap race, time race, just like it sounds. Uh, championship is uh, a point system. It's a format that I like. Um, you run a series of short races and you get points depending on where you finished. So if you finish in first place, you can set it up for uh, four points, uh, second place, three points, and so on. Uh, let's say I select that and I go to championship point system over here. Here you can assign the point system depending if you finish in first, second, third, or fourth place. So, and uh, the other thing you can do uh, this is a four lane track, so you would get four small races, but if you want to increase the number of races, you can say repeat lane. I can repeat that three times, and we can repeat the track twice. What this means is that you're going to race in the same lane three times in a row. For example, let's set this to uh, 10 laps. So you're going to race. Dan is going to race in, in lane uh, in the red lane three times in a row. Then you're going to go over to the white lane, race three times in a row, and each race will be 10 laps because we selected 10 laps for a number of laps. Uh, and af after you've done all four lanes, you will repeat again and do go through the track a second time. So one here is uh, round robin timed heats. So round robin is used when you have more racers than number of lanes. For example, if you have a four lane track but you got six racers, you can still all race together, but four will be racing on the track and two will be sitting out. And the software will automatically keep track of who's on the track and who's off. So let's, um, let's try this. Let's go to select racers. And I can add, let's say, two more racers in here and put them in the sit out. So we have Dan, Choke, Leadfoot, Gunner in lanes one through four. And we have two racers sitting out. Click OK. If I go here, view data, I can look at the rotation. If I click here on view data, I can look at the uh, rotation sequence. And this is what the race would look like uh, because notice I, I kept the repeat on in the race format. Uh, so 
Dan will be racing the red lane three times in a row. Then he'll move over to the yellow, uh, the white lane, do that three times in a row, then move over to the orange lane, do that three times in a row, and so on. Uh, if you don't want to do that three times in a row, we just go back here, repeat lane once, repeat track once, click OK, go back to view data, rotation sequence. Now here you can see that the race is only six heats. So I race once in red, then white, then orange, then green. So looking at this rotation sequence is quite useful. You could also print it out. So everybody will know when they're up next. It also tells you who's up next over here. What other race formats do we have? We have, uh, so you can do this round robin either using timed heats, which means you can set it for, for example, two minutes per heat. So you race in one lane for two minutes. When two minutes are over, you go to the next lane and race another two minutes. The theory behind this is that everybody gets to race two minutes in every lane, which should even things out because most tracks, not all lanes are equal. There's always going to be one lane that's a little quicker than the other. Doing it this way evens things out by racing two minutes in each lane. I also have a qualify timed and I have a video on just for qualifying and explains how to use that. You may want to check that out. Uh, well, let's see what it looks like here. So we're going to go back to a, uh, let's try a lap race. And I'm going to set it to 10 laps. Click OK. Um, and here it says demo if you're in demo mode. So it's going to generate laps on its own. Let's try it out. Click start. We also have sounds. I prefer using, uh, let's put this to best slap and this to medium. So this is like your average. Now a lot of people don't know that you could actually click on this. Uh, so on these two columns you can click to change uh, the what it displays here. Uh, another thing too is that uh, we can adjust the size. We can go to view and we can look at lap times live. I'll adjust that, pull that over. Actually, so you can see it, I'll just leave it here. Let me stretch that here. You can see all your lap times. Not that you would have time to look at it while racing, but there it is. Uh, if you're wondering what uh, lag first means, that means that, uh, for example, Dan is 1.18 seconds behind the leader. If we go to um, lag behind, uh, this means, like for example, Gunner is 0.9 seconds behind third place. Uh, choke is 3.78 seconds behind second place and so on. Uh, after we've done the race, we can view data. So we can go to summary and see the uh, summary here. We have total laps, the total time it took to do the laps, and so on. So feel free to uh, download the software. You can find the software at trackmateracing.com and I'll put a link below in the description. Thanks for watching. Oh. Yellow flag. Go.
8.496 So we go to round robin timed heats select our racers drag out this over here I'll just put that there. We can place random. Over here we have our sitouts. Here's everybody in the lanes. Click OK. We see we have, uh, there's going to be nine heats. So nine races. Each racer is going to race once in every lane. And I'll show you the uh, automation so you can run all the heats without touching the keyboard you just uh, put a delay here in between heats you could also have it auto print uh, in between each and each heat so let's give that a go go This is the Trackmate Racing website. To download the software, you can go to Slot Car Lap Counter, Download and Troubleshooting. Click here, and then click Download Version 9.42. And I'll put that in view. Just click Save. And then you'll be able to uh, run it and install it.